Get off the right wheel. I'm super duper. Did I tell you I'm super duper excited? Yeah. I'm so excited to be training before you guys today. First of all, shout out to Natasha Stevens at um, Corporate. She calls me up. She says, Linda, I want you to train on main stage on how to get CBD out there. I'm like, me? She's like, yeah, we've been watching you. We've been stalking your page. I'm like, oh my goodness, be careful guys, corporate is watching. So it is a pleasure to be before you guys today. I'm super excited. I'm gonna share some different things that we've been doing with a team, as a team, how to get CBD out there. But before I go into it, is it okay if I tell you a little bit about myself? There's some people here who are brand new, so they don't know me, so I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm originally from a small place called Brooklyn, New York. Anyone know that place? Yes, New York in the house. I currently live in Waldorf, Maryland now. And I got started in the business nine years ago. When I looked at this opportunity, it just made a lot of sense to me. Um, I'm a massage therapist by trade and a holistic consultant, and, and I come from the music industry. So, you know, just being in front of people was quite natural for me. I just love it. I'm an attention grabber. I love attention. Have anyone noticed that? I love attention. Totally. No, right? <laughs> and so when we got started eight years ago, I was elated, nine years ago, sorry, I was elated to be part of this company. What I loved about it is that many of the people on um, the top money earners, they look like me. And I was excited about that because I said, wow, if Miss Tashina Pettiford at the time can do it, then I can do it. And I saw so many great leaders just running through this company, but more importantly, they were helping a lot of people. And I'm what we call a people's person. I love to help people, or they call it a servant's helper. So I got started, and you know, we were running with the business, and um, you know, time goes by, and business is good, sometimes business isn't good, but all I know was that I wasn't gonna quit. I was never ever gonna quit on this opportunity. I was never ever gonna quit on this company because I came here to get something for myself and my family. How many of you guys came here to get something for yourself and your family, right? Absolutely. So, you know, fast forward, 18 months ago, we got into CBD and I was in my zone. Because remember, my background as a massage therapist and a holistic consultant, this is what I do. So when they got into CBD and I understood the different molecules of the compound of CBD and how it can help your body to help itself heal naturally, I was so excited about it. My background as well, I come from a sales background and so I worked for a company and we did road shows. And there was something specific about the road shows, the setup, what you would say to the customer, how you would draw the customer to the table. So I took that experience and we started to do these things called road shows, which we're gonna get into in a minute, or we call them pop-up shops. Pop-up shops is a better trendy name for it, actually. So um, I'm gonna go in through a various of slides that I'm gonna share with you guys today. And um, take some notes, we're gonna um, definitely get into some role play as well. And um, I just wanna know things, are you guys ready? Yeah. Say I'm ready. Well, let's get started. So guys, talking to everyone you know is the key to getting this CBD product out here. Because here's the thing, if you don't know it, in our lifetime, someone's gonna suffer with inflammation, pain, anxiety, or stress. You guys agree? Yes. And everyone's gonna want to get CBD. They're gonna wanna get it, they're hearing about it on the news, we hear about CVS, we hear about Walgreens, but if you do not open up your mouth People are not gonna get it from you. And then you're gonna find out that you're, someone in your family close to you brought CBD and they didn't buy it from you because you didn't open up your mouth to tell them. Is that right? So you wanna be very proactive. You gotta talk to your friends, your family members, social media, everyone, because it is the end thing. One of the things I love about this product is that it works, right? How many of you guys have testimonies on the pain cream? It's an amazing product. But let's continue to move on because one of the things that we must do is leverage. Leverage the opportunity that we have with NBA player Jawan Howard. Right now, he's the assistant coach of the Miami Heat. You guys know the story. That is so huge because when I tell people I sell CBD, I got leverage, yes. I'm marking a brand called Oxygen. You know, former NBA player um, Jawan Howard, he's now the Miami Heat assistant coach. 
Well, he's a co-owner of this brand called Oxygen. Yep, I'm a distributor for his company. And that just lights people's eyes up because people, they like to affiliate things with someone famous, right? We know we have a lot of the celebrities out there that are pushing CBD like Whoopi Goldberg and um, Ice Cube and different ones, but definitely leverage the relationship with Joanne Howard because that is big, I'm telling you right now, because most people don't know what oxygen is. They don't even know that oxygen is CBD, right? So you have to be the one to educate them that yes, I'm a distributor, the brand is called Oxygen. Jawan Howard, NBA player, two-time champion. He's now the assistant coach to the Miami Heat. You have to be able to roll that off your tongue like that's your 30-second 30 elevator speech because that's huge leverage that you can use for someone to want to get oxygen from you. Why? Because there's so much different CBDs out there. There's so many things that say they have CBD, but they really don't. People know that Jawan Howard is not going to put his name behind anything that's not true. You got, does that make sense to you guys? So definitely use that, that leverage. And then, you know, the COA, the Certificate of Analysis. Now, you guys know that this is in our back office, right? We have a letter from Nelson. And on the back of it, it talks about what's in our product. This is huge because, as you know, all CBD isn't created the same. So you want to be able to share with someone why our CBD is definitely better. It's an elite product because, listen, see, there's a lot of CBDs out there. I think Nelson um, talked about the last uh, thing that Dr. Gupta and Dr. Oz did. Well, you know, when they did that, that news report, they did 12 different products. Most of them didn't have any CBD in there. Only one of them had the CBD that it said, and one product had E. coli in the gel capsules. E. coli, imagine someone going on the shelf to pick up that product and they were really, really sick and they're looking for that product to help them. It could probably take them out of there. So this is why you want to have your COA to let them know that, listen, we have a certificate of analysis on our products. Everything is laboratory tested. We have an FDA hemp approved facility, non-GMO, organic, U.S. clean soil. Our farms are in Kentucky and Colorado. And definitely, please know the difference between hemp and marijuana. Because most people think that we, we, we selling, we selling weed. They do. They're not educated. And I'm going to explain something to you. The average person, if you ask them if they know about CBD, they don't. So don't ask people if they know about CBD. Ask them, do they have any pain, inflammation, anxiety, or stress in their lives? Does that make sense to you guys? And when you, when you have to explain it to them, be educated, be clear. When I tell people, well, let me explain the difference. It is a cannabis family where marijuana is high in something called THC and low to little no CBD, hemp is high in CBD and no THC. That's the difference. Does that make sense to you guys? Give it up a round of applause for CBD, that's awesome. Yes. So we're gonna continue to promote and let everyone we know that we have CBD. But here's the thing, many of you guys feel like you've gone through your warm market, right? But you really have it with this particular product. However, you gotta get innovative. You have to be proactive. You have to be aggressive. If it were you, what my team has been doing, we've been doing something called street promotions. Remember back in the day, where's Tupac at? Party promoter. Remember back in the day, they used to have the parties and they would put flyers on everybody's cars. Every time you go in the mall, they're giving you a flyer. It was like street, they would paint the streets for an event that was coming up. And that's how they would get a lot of people to attend these events. So what happens if you have a street promotion flyer and you have the little tear-offs and you say, text your number, text CBD to your number? What happens? Now you're going through the law of numbers big time. Now half of the people who are gonna call you, they ain't got no money, they can't get started. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But here's the thing, you never know when you put this flyer up in a Panera Bread or a Starbucks, what quality of person is gonna look at that flyer and say, hmm, I wonder what this is about. Let me, text this, let me text CBD to this number. You just never know. And this just widens, casts your net a lot bigger so you can get in front of a lot more people. Does that make sense? All right, so we're going to do a little role play. 
Team, we going, we on some street promotions. Where the team at? Where the team at? Where the team? Oh, they're going to team here. They come, they're doing the street fly. So we're putting them on lampposts, guys. We're putting them in every store we can possibly think. Don't put stuff on people's cars that they don't like that. Yeah? And don't put things on people's mailboxes either because that's illegal. But you, anywhere that's going to allow you to put a flyer, you're going to put a flyer up. And you just continue on with your day. What I do is I have 10 of these in my bag every single day. I have some push pins. And anywhere I go, and they can put a flyer. I'm putting a flyer up. And you notice you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people can tear off that. So one flyer will go a long way. You guys agree? Yeah. A lot of times I like to put double flyers behind it in case that one's all finished. I have some to, to, to filter through. So, you know, we're going to do this little role play here. And I'm going to tell you guys a real life story. And she's actually here in the room. So let's, um, oops, somebody's calling. Hey, tech CBD today, tech CBD. Okay, let's go through it. Okay, let me see what's up with this person right here. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? My name is Linda. Thank you for um, you know, applying to our ad for CBD. Let me ask you a question. Are you interested in making money, purchasing products, or both? Both. Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about what you know about CBD? I've seen it on the news lately. It's going to be in the in the pharmacy. Actually, it's going to be in Walgreens. So oh. I think it's something that I would like to know more about. Okay, and so when you looked at the flyer, what caught your attention? The part, uh, I know you said you want to make money and you want to sell the products, but are you looking to supplement your income right now? Most definitely. I'd like to have a plan B. Okay, so what do you do right now? What do you do for a living? I'm currently in IT, working in Insider Threat. Okay, alrighty. And so is it fair to say that if the price point was right, and this can fit in your schedule, you'd be um, open to um, starting in the opportunity and making some extra income? Most definitely. And my last question to you, ma'am, is before I send you any information, you know, you said you're looking for an extra stream of income. How soon are you looking to get started? As soon as possible. Okay, okay, fair enough. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you some information. There's three different links. The first link talks about the purity of our product. The second link is a testimonial from a, a heart surgeon that does, he's a cannabis researcher. And the third link talks about who we are, what we do, and how we make money, okay? The time now is approximately 3 o'clock. If I send you this link now, ma'am, how soon can you look at it? I can look at it within the next two hours or so. Okay, so that's probably around 7 o'clock you can look at it? Yes. Okay, so that means it's every, all the information runs about 30 minutes. So by 7.30, you would have looked at it, and we can get back on the phone to get your questions answered? Sure, that would be great. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to send you the information, and we'll get back on the call at 7.30, okay? Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. All right, she says she's interested. Let's see. Hmm. All right. I'm sending it from my legacy app because I want to track it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter people that are not serious. I'm not going out to meet these people. I don't know them. You know, what if there's some stranger that got another agenda, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the legacy app. Oh, Kurt Anderson got a video. Okay, bet. Pick that one up. Then I'm going to space down. I'm going to copy and paste the Y.Oxygen link. I'm also going to put the heart surgeon information in because sometimes people just need some more credible information. You guys can use Dr. Oz if you want or whatever videos best works for you or the ones that you and your team uses. I'm going to send those three links. All I know is, is that at 7.30, we're supposed to be talking on the phone. So that means she would have, if she's looked at the third video, chances are she looked at the first two videos, right? The first video is about two minutes. The second one is about three minutes. And then she has the oxygen video. Okay, send that. Let's see. All right. Okay, 7.30. Let me see if the legacy app anyone called me. Ooh, she looked at 100%. Sounds like she could be interested. Okay. I'm going to call her back now. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Hello. Hello. Hi, Esther, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks Good. for calling me back. Yes, yes, yes. I noticed that you got a chance to look at all of the information. Tell me what, what caught your attention. What, what stood out to you? What stood out to me is that it's great for pain, and I'm currently suffering from migraine, so I think this would be great for me, and I know I can share it with a lot of other people who are suffering from pain. 
Okay, okay, so is it fair to say that you see an opportunity to help a lot of people plus yourself but make income as well? Most definitely. Perfect, Esther. Well, listen, this sounds really good. What I like to do is um, I'm going to send you the link because you said that um, if the price point was right, you'd be ready to get started, right? Yeah, but I have one question. Okay, go ahead. Is this all legal? <laughs> is it legal? Yes. Yeah. This is The farm bill has passed, and we're legal in all 50 states, so you don't okay. even have to worry about it. Everything is legal, and only thing you need to do, if you're seriously interested in the business, I'm going to send you the link. You need to click on the link. You mm -hmm. need to sign yourself into the business, and let me just explain a few things. Okay. It's $4.99 to get started, which gives you $700 worth of product. Oh, wow, stop. What did you say, $4.99? Yes, ma'am, $4.99. Only $4.99. I'm sorry? Only $4.99? Nope, nope. I'm going to give you the rest of the oh, um, okay. amount as well. So $4.99 gets you registered in the business. It waives your licensing fee. It gives you $700 worth of product so you can get your return on your investment. And All I'm right. going to break down everything in that, that kit to show you how you can make $550 on that kit. I also want you to know that there is a $49.95 monthly website fee, which gives you an app to run your business on autopilot, and that's every single month, okay? So now we're up to $550, okay? Okay, great. However, that's not it, Esther. This is a business, and I want you to know that there is an investment. So every single month, you're going to sign yourself up on one of those bundles for $199. And what that bundle is going to allow you to do, Esther, to have more product every single month so you can share it with friends and family members or maybe even do something what we call pop-up shops. Does that make sense? Yes, most definitely. Okay, Esther, so I'm going to send you the information. Go ahead and get yourself in the system. And then once you get yourself in the system, we'll do something called a 30-day game plan and we'll get your business running. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Sounds good, Esther. Nice speaking with you. I look forward to doing business with you. Everybody give it up for Esther. Thank you. So um, that, that was actually a, a real life situation. So Kurt Anderson and I, we did something called um, WBGR, which was a TV show. Did you guys see that? It was so cool to be on stage in my diamond. He was killing it. Anyways, what happened, a woman named Terry from Atlanta saw the show. And she called me up and she says, she remembered me because I, 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 I was part of Essential Oils Company many years ago. And she remembered me and she says, Linda, this CBD thing, can it really help with pain? I said, yes, it can. Can I make some money too? I said, yes, you can. I want to do that. Great. Well, guys, I want you to know that Terry got into the business. She not only hit her ET bonus in, in under 30 days, she hit 5 and 25, and she's here today. All right. So my point of, of all that to say is that I was just promoting in every way that I can. Getting on that TV show, the street flies, everywhere that I can, making myself very visual so everyone knows that I sell CBD. I'm shouting off the mountains. It's like the good news of the gospel, CBD. You have to be that aggressive. You cannot leave this nationals and be like, yeah, we got some tea and coffee and we got something called PDQ. You be like, yo, we got tea, we got coffee, we got PDQ, how many can I get you? That has to be your posture. Does that make sense to everyone? It has to be. So let's continue to move on, guys. What about, oh, that's a script. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture. That's a script for the street promotion. Got it? Oh, gosh. What's wrong with y'all flash? I'm oh, dang. All right. All right, let's continue to move on, guys. Again, promoting in every way that you can. So... It's trendy. It's called pop-up shops. Do you guys like the pop-up shop look up here? Yeah? So again, coming from my, my, my sales background, sorry, the paint spray flyer was a bit, yeah. Coming from my sales background, when we set up a road show, it was very strategic. Very strategic to the way the, the items was displayed down to the runner, down to the riser. So I just took that same experience and I applied it to oxygen. Here's the thing what you need. You need two four-feet tables but which are 36 inches high. And I'm going to tell you strategically why that works. Because when someone is walking in your table, when they tend to look down, that lessens your sales. But if they can see your items from eye level, it looks beautiful, the colors are popping, they're walking over, and they want to know what you got. Your goal is to get people to your table. Does that make sense? Once you get them to your table, you're able to explain to them what you're doing and what this is. And so, again, you have two four-feet tables, I got them from BJ's, but I think Amazon sells them as well. They're 36 inches high. You see it comes to your hip? 
because we did a pop-up shop the other day, my diamond and I, and we had this set up and you had everyone else in the store with their setup and their tables was down here. A completely different vibe. You know what I'm saying? Because we look like we're in business right here. Don't you think so? Yeah. Absolutely. You also want to have your uh, two black tablecloths. You guys can get these from Amazon. Your two runners. Aren't these runners amazing? Yeah. I made them. Yeah, I made them. I'm selling them after the session. Come see me by the massage area. Anyway, <laughs> you want to have your two risers. Guys, this is just a storage box from Walmart. $3.50. You know what the riser does? It almost looks like the, the, this is part of the table, correct? And also, it just gives you height for your product. So now I'm thinking we got CBD coffee and tea. I'm going to have coffee over here. I'm going to have tea over there. And I'll get these products integrated in here somewhere. OK, so you really want to make sure you get your risers. Let's go back to my list, guys. Then the trays. Guys, these dollar trays are amazing. You know where I got these from? The dollar store. The dollar store. All right, it looks a little elegant. No one needs to know what comes from the dollar store. You don't have to tell. But it, again, it just gives the whole setup a look. What else you need? You need your price list. You want to make sure you have your price list. Now, the price list, in my opinion, you can do what you like to do, but I'm going to tell you what I do. I sell everything at retail. I'm in this business to make money. I'm not selling preferred, and I'm not selling wholesale. I'm selling retail prices. So, ma'am, if you, if, if you want a pain cream today, they normally retail in the chiropractor's office for $135. But today, you can get two for $120 for one for $69.95. How many would you like? Does that make sense? Absolutely. You also want to make sure you have a receipt book, guys, because some people are going to want receipts if they're paying cash. And if you don't have some kind of credit card processing like Square or Payrock, make sure you have that because a lot of people don't have cash. They need to be able to purchase the products from you, and you need to be able to swipe. So this is the setup. Everybody got a picture, OK? And I'm a strong believer of rip off and duplicate. I mean, we learned so much from our leaders in the front row on how to make a lot of money by just simply ripping off and duplicate. I have no problem with you guys ripping off and duplicating because it's, it's working. It's working for me. Does that make sense? All right, let's continue to move on. So this is a pop-up shop we did in the mall the other day. And um, it was pretty cool. Oh, make sure you have your banners. Jawal and Harwood's in the middle. Your pain release, the blast cast. Make sure you have your banners. And then, guys, no one is above the deal. Look at our diamond in the pop-up shop. Go ahead. And what was so interesting with Tashina and I when we did this is, you know, we work together. And a lot of you guys want to do pop-up shops or road shows, and you want to know, well, how do you get so much product? How do you make it happen? Well, it's those bundles. Going back to that $1.99 bundle, guys, you're in business, so you have to have product. So you want to make sure you're on the auto ship. But let's say you're doing it with another partner. Well, when Tashina and I did it, she had some things that I didn't have, and I had some things that she didn't have, and we made it work. We both had pain cream, so when we sold the pain cream, it was one pain cream sell for her, one pain cream sell for me. I didn't have many tinctures, so she sold tinctures, but I had, I had a pet spray, and I sold a pet spray. So we just worked it out within ourselves, one for one, one for one, unless it was your own personal product that the person didn't have. Does that make sense? And when you're doing these events, you definitely need a partner or two. One, because when you got to go to the bathroom, who's going to watch your product, right? The other thing is, um, what I do is a lot of times I'll keep empty bottles, so keep all of your bottles for display, because sometimes people have sticky fingers. And so if you keep the empty bottles, it still makes beautiful for your display, right? So we have the display here, and you know we split the products. Um, it was very interesting. We learned some things that we're going to do and not going to do going forward. Normally, when I book in the mall, we're inside the mall, right? And people are passing by. Well, this lady put us in a store with a bunch of other vendors. And we were figuring out, OK, what we're going to do to get people in the store. So if you're doing something like that, or even if you just are in the aisle, you got to have a hype girl. Mia was our hype girl, right, Tashina? Mia was the hype girl. Mia was like going to people, you got any pain, stress, inflammation, anxiety? And she was bringing people into the store. If you know Mia, hi Mia, and social media, she is the most 
quietest person. She's an introvert. She doesn't talk to people. So she really stepped out of her comfort zone, talking to everyone, and she was bringing up, like me and Tashina was like, what? She was bringing people to the table. So we're going to do a little role play. Somebody say, role play. Role play. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we're going to go do these pop-up shops here. And um, some people are shopping in the mall. Let me get behind the table over here. Yeah. We got CBD over here, guys. Come check us out. We got CBD, any pain, inflammation, anxiety, or stress. Come on and check us out. We got CBD over here. CBD, CBD all day, every day. Yep, CBD, that's right. Hey, ma'am, how's it going? You doing all right? That's great, that's great, that's great. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ladies, Ooh. how are you doing? I'm doing well. I see. Is this your mom by any chance? Yes, my mom. Oh, are you in, a, in some sort of pain? Yes, 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 I am. <laughs> okay, I have something for you, okay? Yes, I have. I'm going to come, come over here with me. I want to take you over to this young lady. She's going to explain to you what we have for you. Come on over here. Hey, how y'all doing today? Good, good, good. Ma'am, I see you limping. Do you have any pain? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? So tell me what's going on. I got pain everywhere, honey. D do you really? What you got for me? Okay, 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 okay. Well, listen, um, this is CBD. It's hemp-derived cannabidiol. It comes from the hemp plant. Are you familiar with that at all? What's a cannabis? what? Ca okay, so, all right. So it comes from the cannabis plant, ma'am. And what it does, when you put the pain cream on specifically, mm -hmm. it helps to relieve you of pain. But if you take this tincture internally, it's going to help to balance things in your body. It causes something like a cascade of homeostasis. But what that really means is balance. It's like rest and digest. So your body can just do what it needs to do to heal itself naturally. So, ma'am, I'm telling you right now that if you're in the, the kind of pain that I think you're in, mm -hmm. you want to definitely use this pain cream but you want to take this tincture internally, okay? Okay, I, I need one. I need one each. One each, okay. Wait, the daughter want to say something. Here we go. Well, yeah. No, but, <laughs> what you got to say? Yeah. But so, so, where you guys get this stuff from? Like, I mean, like. I don't care where it come from. <laughs> Make sure you know where you're spending your money, mommy. Uh, you said right? Okay. All right. So let, let me just answer your daughter's question. Okay. So, ma'am, listen. You know, I, I can understand that your mom is in pain, and she's pretty much probably tried a lot of different things, and you want to make yeah. sure she gets the right thing. So, first of all, these products we have what we call a certificate of analysis on these products right here. Mm -hmm. They're very pure. They don't have any synthetics in them, and they don't have the THC and the element to have, that get you high. Yeah. So, all it's going to do is just going to go in and help soothe and relieve her pain. Get to that inflammation really really deep and if okay. she's taking the tinctures I would definitely suggest a 1500 milligram for her because she looks mm. like she has chronic pain yes, over a period of time I promise you that she's gonna feel so much better mm -hmm. okay and we have great pricing on the product today ma'am great pricing okay okay well let me just tell you a little bit about the pricing so our pain creams they normally retail in the chiropractor's office for $135 today you can get two of them for 120 or one for $69.95 how many you need to okay all right and um, I can appreciate that I can appreciate that all right and now uh, would you like to go go ahead and try that 1500 milligram tincture I was telling you about yeah uh -huh. I need two of them too just to get for two Okay, yeah, if you get two pain creams, the 1,500 milligrams is $130, ma'am. If you go ahead and get two of those, I'm going to give them to you, um, two of them for $220. i will take $10 off. Okay, that works. Okay, so we're getting two tinctures and two pain creams, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is $200 here. Can I give you that green card I use every month? Well, no, is that EBT? No. Which one is that? Oh, you take the, oh disability. Oh no, man. We you gotta pay cash. You gotta be credit or debit and um, yeah, credit or debit. I got it. She don't know everything. Oh, okay. All right. Well, 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 ma'am. First of all, I want to say welcome to um participating in your own rescue of being pain free. Yeah. Give, you gotta give me the credit card first, though, ma'am. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. I got. Yeah. All right, all right, and listen, you know, you just spent close to $300 worth of product. Right. I do want you to let you know that there is an opportunity attached to this. You know, Jawan Howard, he's our brand ambassador. This is his company, the NBA player. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And um, this is an opportunity where you can get involved, make some good money, and you can get your products at wholesale pricing. Wholesale. So you look like you a... Can. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> only $4.99. But, but I know that's something you have to think about today. No, so. no. <laughs> I got it. She don't know everything. She don't know everything. Everybody hear from her. Okay.
okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I, I want to, um, let me go ahead and charge a card here. Okay. Get your products going, and then I'm going to connect with you on the business side. Is that all right? How long is going to last? Uh, that's going to last you a good 30 days, ma'am. You sure? Absolutely. Well, when am I going to get my other product? You said so much more product? Okay. So, no, you didn't sign up yet, ma'am. Oh, my God. She wanted to do the 4 dollars already. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I'm going to get y'all moving on your way. Oh, you want your, you should have your card back. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Okay. All right. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. So, sir, I I got your information here on the signing sheet. I'm gonna give you a call, okay? You got a card? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let me give you a card. Hey, this one's hard, ain't she? I'm out the fire. Jesus. <laughs> I tell you what, if this stuff don't work, I'm gonna fire you. <laughs> Let's give it up for Terry Jackson and Michelle Kahn. Now, here's the thing, guys. Remember I told you about the lady who saw Kurt and I on the TV show? That's Terry Jackson. Hit a 5 and 25 and E.T., two people away from E.D., so she's moving and shaking. So All right, guys, we're getting ready to wrap this up. So, you know, um, selling in the pop-up shops, um, what I don't say is, hey, do you know about CBD? I'm always asking people, where is your pain? because people want to be pain free. So, because if you ask them what CBD, to them that sounds like ABC. Like, um, Kurt told Tashina the other day, um, which is what he, what he said to you, Tashina? Yeah, hey, come check this out, we got some cannabis cream, come and check us out. <laughs> I said, that's different, yeah. So well, you say whatever you, you need to say. Some people do know what CBD is, and you have to remember that the setup is so strategic and it's so bright and so inviting. The minute people see this, they kind of know what it is. So people who are into CBD, they, they kind of know what it is, but most people don't know. You want to know what to say, we went over that, and we over went over the role play. And so again, continue to promote every way that you can. Whether it's vending opportunities, Eventbrite, through Facebook, Nextdoor, Craigslist, et cetera, promote, promote, promote. Um, and this is why, again, having the bundles on auto ship is important because you always need to have product on hand. How many people on the bundles? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. All right. And the ones who don't have their hands up, if you want to grow a huge business, you have to get on a 199 auto ship. You have to look at it as flipping it. I'm going to get some product, and I'm going to flip it. I'm going to put some money in my pocket. I'm going to get some more product. Because those people are going to lead you to business builders. Those people are going to lead you to the, the big corporate accounts that you're looking for. And then we're going to talk a little bit about commercial accounts. Everyone wants to get a chiropractor. Everyone wants to get a physical therapist or a CBD store or a health food store, right? You guys want them, right? So you got to be prepared. These are the things that you need. You need to have your order forms. Wholesale forms, your product portfolio, your CBD business cards. You want people to buy from you at retail or preferred pricing. And again, those same people may see an opportunity for themselves and they'll be interested in partnering up with you. So this is what we use in commercial accounts. I have my CBD business cards. I have my CBD kit. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. And then also I have, you know, a different variations of things, and I make sure that I have all the product on hand. But you know what? Talk is cheap. You really want to hear from someone who's doing it big. You want to hear from someone that's going to the chiropractor's offices, that's going to the physical therapist's office, and landing these accounts. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Executive Cecil. Come on, Cecil, come on and share with us. Because he lives in Maryland, and he's killing the deal right now, so I'd like for him to share two minutes on what he's been doing, Cecil. How's everybody doing today? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Listen, folks, the commercial opportunity is huge. Can we please give it up to um, our chairman of the board, Nelson Girard, for giving us that pet, that, um, that um, bundle today? That was awesome, right? Listen, folks, the opportunity is incredible. Listen, the numbers, the numbers, the numbers, the numbers, the numbers will always help you to win. I've, I've had an incredible amount of success by just going and talking and having the conversations. Simply going in and saying, listen, how you doing? My name is Cecil Khalees. I'm a hemp drive CBD distributor. I'd love to sit and chat with either the office manager or the doctors. When's a good time for me to schedule? And trust me, they're available during their lunch time. Now, everyone isn't always available during lunch, so maybe if you go to a chiropractor after hours and have a conversation at the end of the day, that works, or a doctor's office at the end of the day, that works as well. But the opportunities are there simply by going through the numbers and having the conversations. The more conversations you have, the more times you're able to, to have those conversations and be able to provide the information. As you saw, you have to be prepared. Yesterday, I think Lisa killed it. 
She talked about dressing professionally. I, I walk with a little roly-poly thing that allows me to roll and have my, my, my stuff to, on display so I can show what I have so the doctors are able to, to see and also give them a package that they're able to read and go through the information quickly. So be prepared and, and have samples to provide and you'll be amazed at how many accounts you're able to close. So why don't you tell us about one of the two accounts you got so far. All right, so um, I, we've closed about six accounts so far. Woo, six! That's good. Awesome. Yep. So the, one of the accounts that I closed was a uh, physical therapist. Walked in, uh, exactly as I said earlier, scheduled an appointment during lunch, sat down with them, walked them through all the, all the different um, products and services, that, products that we offer. They closed, their first order was $1,500. So they went ahead and ordered uh, 24 of the pain cream, uh, 12 of the, uh, the 500 milligram tinctures. Their second order they placed earlier this month, they ordered another $1,500. And so basically, you know, just simply by showing them the products, they saw the, the, the potential, and they're super excited about what, I have, what we have to offer. Awesome. Let's give it up for Cecil Khalees, guys. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Awesome. All right, guys. So, you know, again, you know, you just want to make sure that you are prepared. And um, did I go past this? Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so, so you know the product. These are, this is some order forms. Shout out to Kwame Gibson and Tashina Anderson and um, Coach K. This is an amazing order form. What I love about it is that it is all in retail pricing, and then also it has a line for the price that you may want to give. I also like that the fact that it has an invoice attached to it, because how many times you may have a PBR and um, people may want stuff, you can give them this form and they can start filling out the order form of what they want, they see the price list, you take the order form and you process it. Does that make sense to everyone? Sometimes I'm at a, an event and I may not have the product because remember I have a lot of some, some of the stuff are empty. I may not have the product. I'll say go ahead and fill out your information and I'm going to go ahead and get it ordered and you'll have it in three to five days. Does that make sense? All right. So as we move on, guys, and we close out, we've been doing something called Community Awareness on CBD Workshops. And um, what I love about this particular event is that this was something very comfortable for me. Again, from my background, I've always done what we call essential oil workshops. And so I just took that knowledge and applied what I would do with CBD. And what was so interesting was the flyer. The flyer had to be engaging because what I wanted was strangers. Nothing against the partners that want to come out, shout out to y'all, but I want strangers to come and learn about CBD. So I got a flyer made up, many of you guys seen it online, and I wanted to be where it was eye-catching that someone can look at it and say, what, community awareness of CBD? I've been wanting to learn about that stuff. What's that about? So that, that's why I made the flyer. And then I have a workbook, um, you know, and all I'm doing in terms of the presentation, it's just an extended PBR. I'm just educating people on CBD. And then of course, why a $5 cover charge? Because people do not value anything that's free. I don't care what anyone says. When I put $5 on there, those people who pay, 90% of them show up. But if it was free, a lot of people are not going to come up because people's mentality is I can go to the next one. So I know we're not used to charging for PBRs or whatever, but um, you know, when I'm doing events, if it's in a public setting, I'm going to charge $5 because the workbook cost me 85 cents to put my workbook together, right? And I don't think that I should be out of pocket. And then I'm raffling off a product, something low end like a blast cap or a 250 milligram um, tincture. And you know, I'm, 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 use, I'm spending my time. So this is what the flyer looks like. And um, we've been using this flyer. Uh, I've sent it to many of the leaders. All of you are welcome to use it. I just feel like, you know, teamwork makes a dream work. You know, they said that a closed mouth don't get fed. And I believe in the law of reciprocity. What you give out comes back to you. You know, so you all are welcome to use this flyer. You can actually SVP for it, or I can email it to you. And um, it works. The wording is works. Inflammation, chronic pain, stress, PTSD. Talks about what the workshop includes. There's a nice picture of the flyer, $5. And here's the kick, kicker, Eventbrite. I'm registering everyone for the event. I let them pay at the door, absolutely, but they won't know that they can pay at the door. When they see this, they have an urgency to get online and register. What that does for me, it tells me how many workbooks I need to prepare and how many people that are coming. And then when I get to see the list, I realize that these are really strangers. My first event I did at a yoga studio, she charged me $50 for the studio. And we were only supposed to have 20 people come. We end up with 35 guests. 
Out of the 35 people that was in the room, only six of them were business partners. I didn't know any of those people. I was like, wow, I might be on to something here. And only thing I did was I advertised on Eventbrite. I went into Facebook and I find different groups that was in the area of Charles County. So Charles County in Maryland, they have a Facebook page. I went to different health and wellness groups and I post a flyer, I post a flyer. And then I started to notice that people were getting on and they were registering for the event. And so you should think about that because there's a lot of different health and wellness groups in your area that may be interested in learning about CBD and that's how you're gonna attract a lot of strangers to come. Does that make sense to everyone? Um, um, shout out to Ian Chebe because he mentioned Craigslist to me. I never thought about Craigslist. I started putting a flyer on Craigslist and people were not only texting my number or texting CBD to my number, but they were also inquiring about the event. So sh social media is very powerful. So in the workbook, this is what the workbook looks like, guys. And the workbook is everything we have in the back office. We have the COA, Certificate of Analysis, right? We have that there. And again, the reason why I have that in the workbook, I want people to leave the workshop informed. The Bible says in all you get, get understanding. People don't know. Another reason for the workbook is the frequently asked questions because it's so much information, now they can refer back to the frequently asked questions. When I talk about the endocannabinoid system, that went right over their head because they've never heard about it before. But when I explain it, it's just like your digestive system, it's just like your respiratory system. And then we read what the ECS says, we do it live in the workshop, I read this out to people, it starts to make sense. When I tell them that the endocannabinoid system is something that you know doctors didn't even know exists, 30 years ago, there's a doctor in Israel by the name of Dr. Raphael Mashula discovered this. People's lights is going off in people's head. They're being educated and they're so grateful because they didn't know this information before. Does this make sense to you guys? The next thing is I have what we call um, some color flyers of all the products. So now I've been putting them two to a page. This is showing one to a page, but I put two to a page. And why do I do that? Because when they leave, they got a whole bunch of information. But when they start thinking about their pain or someone else is talking about a situation, they can refer right to the workbook. They can look at all the products. They have my y.oxygen forward slash L number and they can go and order. I picked up four orders from our last event from someone who had the workbook. Okay, and that's just because they had the information with them. Your CBD worksheet, sheet, shout out to um, Nicole D. I. Oreo. You wanna make sure that you have sign-in sheets because again, when I did my first event, it was from three to five. By six o'clock, I called everybody on the list and said, thank you for coming out to the event. Do you have any additional questions? Is there anything that you need help with with your order? Can I help you place an order? I called everybody before 24 hours. That's crucial. People appreciate the fact that you thank them for coming, and if they have a question that maybe they were too embarrassed to ask at the meeting, they can ask you over the phone. Does that make sense to everyone? So you wanna make sure that you have um, a sign-in sheet and you gotta follow up right away. And then finally, um, the power of social media. Now this is really interesting. I Facebook Live everything. I'm Facebook Living this. Hey, how y'all doing in Facebook Live? Everything because I'm a firm believer that everybody is watching. They're watching everything that you do. And I don't care what anyone says, they're gonna know that I sell CBD. And if they don't get it from me, like Tupac said, we're gonna have a problem. So everyone knows, so I'm Facebook living everything. Well, Thomas Felder and I, we did the community awareness event at this barbershop, and I was Facebooking live like I always do, after the meeting, I got an inbox from a young lady that says, I'm interested, I wanna know more. I'm like, okay, I'm looking, she's not even my friend. I'm like, I wonder how she was watching it. Well, I inbox her back, are you interested in making money, purchasing products, or both? She said both. I said, okay, when's a good time to talk? We got on the phone, we talked a bit. We had a lot in common. Come to find out she's a massage therapist like me. She's also a holistic consultant, so we talked on a whole different level. Then, you know, she was interested in the business. I said, well, I took her through the process. I'm gonna send you three links. I need you to look all, at all three of them. If you're seriously interested, let's get back on the phone and get your questions answered. Gave her a time frame, booked an appointment, got on the phone, we talked, 
got all of her questions answered. Then I figured, wow, she's all the way in San Francisco. I'm gonna need some SVP Super Friends power. Ricardo Suba, let me call Ricardo, he's in the Bay Area. I called Ricardo, I said, Ricardo, I have this young lady, she lives near you, can you do a three-way call? Of course he was available. Ricardo, where you at? When I tell you he knocked the call out the box, he did an amazing job. Now, I'm an SVP, I still do three-way calls. All I do is follow the system, right? So Ricardo did an amazing job with this young lady, and um, in less than 72 hours, wait, I got back on the phone with her. I said, I'm gonna send you my link. If you're seriously interested, you need to go ahead and sign up. This is what you need to sign up for. In 72 hours, she was signed into my business. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Rukaya from San Francisco. Where are you? Here she comes. So Rukaya is still only two weeks in the business, and we never even met. And the funny thing about it is that, um, aww, she's my new bestie. She's a great therapist, by the way. So Rakaya, why don't you just tell everyone, there's a mic right there, tell everyone really quickly a little bit about what piqued your interest when you saw the Facebook Live, the conversation, and how it's been helping your clients right now. Awesome. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so yes, that was two and a half weeks ago. Linda didn't mention that. Yeah. So I signed up two and a half weeks ago, and Linda said, I have to be a national, so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, got to listen to Linda. Well, Linda says she's successful, so I knew that I definitely had to um, listen to everything that she has to say. So really what piqued my interest, I've been a massage therapist for almost eight years now, and um, I was interested in CBD, but I didn't know where to start. Mm -hmm. That was it, you know? There's so much out there, um, and I just didn't know where to start, so I was in a Facebook group. Um, that I think it was about business success, and um, saw her video, and that's what I did. I, yeah, I inboxed her, um, and like she said, within 72 hours, I signed up for the business because I just knew that that COA is probably is that's it. That's awesome, awesome. <laughs> that's definitely definitely it. Um, so I once I got my product, um, I started using it on clients, and I just have one story to share. So um, had a client that ordered an hour and a half massage, um, and um, I do mobile massage, so I went to the client's house and did an hour and a half massage, and um, used the therapeutic rub on them, on their neck and shoulders, it's usually the area that's having an issue, great. That went great, they extended it to two hours, so it really was a two hour session. Um, this is like, a 10 my clients like 10 o'clock appointments. <laughs> Anyways, so the next day the client texts me and says, hey, I feel absolutely amazing. Great. They said, so I really want a massage tonight. <laughs> and I was like, I just saw you yesterday. <laughs> but you know what, great. You want a massage today? Great. Come back, 10 o'clock. So I went back the second day and I was like, okay, you know, clients don't really have appointments two days in a row, right? So I'm like, well, what do you want to work on today? They're like, oh, I was working out today, my calves hurt, and I was like, okay, great. So what I did is I put the therapeutic rub on their calves, I started them on their stomach, put the therapeutic rub on their calves, redraped their legs, and started on their back. So I massaged their back, it was a two hour massage, so I, started, I did their back for 30 minutes, and before I undraped the legs again, I said, how do your legs feel? The client said, oh my God, <laughs> mm. within five minutes of massaging my back, my legs don't hurt anymore. I was like, oh my God, that is so amazing. And so I, of course, massaged their legs, turned them over, finished the massage. And then two days later, <laughs> they called me again, texted me again and said, hey, I still feel amazing. I need another massage. <laughs> So they got another two hour massage. That's three massages in four days. Wow. I mean, I know my skills, I'm, you know, I'm pretty good, but I was like, damn, never ha that never happened before in eight years. So um, <laughs> I gave them, um, the, um, gave them another two hour massage. And then after they were done, I was like, I'm so happy that you still feel amazing. Next time you work out, I sell the pain cream, $69.95. So if you want to feel it great again after your um, workout, then you know use this paint cream, and they bought it. It was no issue at all. 
that's just really, really inspiring. Clients love it. They absolutely love it. So I love being a massage therapist and being able to share CBD. It just goes right in line. Definitely have plans on sharing it with other massage therapists and other wellness professionals. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Linda. You're welcome. Thank you. Good job. So, you know, the point, the point of it all is um, I really wanted to bring her up there because how, how is that? And here's the thing. When she saw the Facebook Live, again, she wasn't my friend. Someone shared the video. Someone shared the video and she saw it. And she's here today. And so I'm really excited about what we have our hands on with CBD, guys. But I'm going to wrap it up now because all my slides is done. And this is what I want to end with. You know, the last, I would say, eight weeks has been really phenomenal for me and my business. But nine weeks ago, I was ready to quit my business. I was ready to just not do five links anymore. I said, I'm just going to focus on my massage practice and I'm not going to do the business anymore because I just felt like maybe, you know, I've run my course in this business. Maybe, you know, God wants me to do something else. And I was feeling a little sorry for myself, Crystal. You know, I was feeling a little down and out. And I got on the phone with, anytime you're feeling down and out, her name is Tashina Anderson. Just go ahead and give her a call. And we had this talk that when I left the phone call, I wasn't too sure how I felt about it, but when I meditated on it and I thought about everything that she said to me on the phone call, I said, you know what, she's such an amazing leader. She just really wants the very best for me. She just wants me to be better. And I said, nine years in this business and I'm gonna give up? And we have something that's gonna be a $22 billion industry? Snap out of it! <laughs> so yeah. I snapped out of it. So Tashina, I want to tell you publicly, thank you so much for kind of having that that girl to girl moment with me and making me realize that right when you think you want to quit, that's when the tide is going to turn. Because when I realized, I said, you know what, God has created me for such a time as this and there's no way I'm not going to be a million dollar earner in this business. I said, wait a minute, man, I am going, and, and, and it's just been one of those things where everything I touch was turning. Everything, I, I was going this way, okay, I'll sign up. Rakaya said, she'll sign up. This person was signing up. This person was getting customers, and I was hitting the group me, slam dunk, boom, slam dunk, boom. So if you're out there and you're wondering if this business is for you, I want you to understand that you can win with CBD. You just have to trust. You have to believe. You have to be on that bundle. You have to build big business with CBD. I am Senior Vice President Linda Scott-Reed. Thank you so much.